This is Bruce the Spruce Grouse. He's the first grouse I ever named. Let me back up. Spruce grouse are funny. The males tend to come back to the same spot every spring for breeding purposes, and if you know where that is, you can go visit them every year, and you get to know individual grouse personally. If I get to know a grouse personally, I give them a name. I've got 15 to 20 spruce grouse all over Maine named. This is Deuce. His territory is right next to Bruce's. They spend much of the spring watching each other suspiciously, making sure the other doesn't encroach in their territory. There's an invisible line in the woods and I've never seen either one cross it. Also, each bird has a distinct personality. Bruce is quiet. He'll just sit there and watch you or walk away slowly. Deuce is bold. He'll follow you around and demand you stop interfering with his love life. He can be a real clown. He can also be really sneaky if there's no hen around. He'll just hide there and wait for you to walk on. I've doubled back a couple of times and he was following me out. These guys are in Lubeck, way down east in Maine. This is Skitter. What a clown he is. Uh, if a grouse walks up to you and fans his tail and flaps his wings, he's telling you to go away. This is his spot for courting the ladies, and you are intruding. I keep a respectful distance, but sometimes he'll just walk up to me and give me the evil eye, so I have to leave. Kidder is about 300 yards down the road from Skidder, and he has a real attitude. He keeps a bigger territory than most. The ladies love him. All these guys are up in the North Main woods. How tame is a spruce grouse? This is Rocky. Right now, on the day we met, there are 15 people standing just 20 feet away from him. We're all watching each other, and he's not even very much annoyed. This one's in Roke Bluffs, down East Maine. This is Woody. He's about an hour south of Rocky and definitely more shy. He tends to perch higher in the tree out of reach. Some grouse you could almost touch, but not this one. There are five spruce grouse lined up along a trail in a National Wildlife Refuge about 15 minutes away from Woody. Their names are Blue, Cross, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Talk about personalities. Blue does not care. I walked right up to him and said hi. Cross was a whisper away and was insulted by my visit. I don't think Huey was on territory. He was just behind some branches as I walked by. Dewey didn't care. He just sat on a branch and waited for me to walk. When I didn't, he went down on the ground and started feeding again. And Louie is the boldest grouse I have ever met. Hey Louie, Bob's here. <laughs> That's a good boy. All right, he's telling me to leave, and since I don't want him to get too accustomed to people, I'm afraid we're going to have to say goodbye to Louie. If you liked Louie, give him a like. Scooter lives not far away from these other guys. I've only met him twice. He just didn't seem to care that I was around, even when there were two females nearby wanting his attention. I don't know what to make of him. Same way with Kiwi up in the North Main Woods in the Katahdin Woods and Waters National Wildlife Refuge. He was out in the road when I met him and just kept feeding. Spruce grouse are not that common, but they're all over down east in northern Maine. They like spruce fir forests because they eat those spruce needles in the winter. In the summer, a little more berries, bugs, whatever they can get. But the winter, it's spruce needles. So on the whole, spruce grouse may be the funniest bird in America. Spruce grouse.
Sorry I can't stay long, but when they tell me to go, I gotta respect their wishes. See you next spring, guys.